Hello, this is the video number 3 in our mini course about attention in NLP. Remember, we have 4 types of attention mechanisms. And previously I had the pressure to introduce you about encoder-decoder attention and self-attention mechanisms. This time I will quickly cover by the directional attention. And next time we will finish our mini course with multi-hit attention. This lesson will be quite short because of some reasons. The main reason is that bidirectional attention is very similar to self-attention. If you watched the last lesson previously, so let's jump into bidirectional attention right now. So again, we have our single input right here. That is this sentence. And main components in our attention mechanism is the same. Values, keys and queries. And when we are calculating bidirectional the attention, if you remember from self-attention lesson, the way we ensure that our attention was focused only on past words, we added on a masking operation here. So when we convert self-attention to bidirectional attention, we do not use that. And that's the biggest difference from self-attention. And then what will happen is given the sequence like this with our current timestamp being here. When self-attention did this and identify a relationship between past words only by masking operation, by directional attention do not have that masking operation. So we end up with adding another one here. So we focus on both sides. So this is very important. I would say that is particularly useful for things like mask language modeling and in particular use in BERT. As we can see from the name of it, bidirectional encoder representation from transformers. BE refers to bidirectional encoder. That is exactly what we are doing here. That is about bidirectional attention. Next time we will move into multi-heat attention and see you there.